can be anything you want to be. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. You can live your passion. Live your passion. Meet 32-year-old Job Shatona, a qualified and skilled millwright. This is his story. You can be anything you want to be. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. Job was born and raised at Okalongo in the Omasati region where he matriculated at Okolongo Secondary in 2002. Growing up, Job realized that he liked working with his hands. It did therefore not come as a surprise to his family and friends when Job opted to enroll for a course in marine engineering at the Namibia Marine and Fisheries Institute at Volfers Bay. It was during his time at NAMFI when he read about mill writing and where he made the decision to instead enroll at the Namibia Institute for Mining and Technology, NIMT, at Arandis. In 2003, I moved to Swakop. And then in 2004, I enrolled with the uh, Namibian Maritimes and Fishery Institute, NEMFI in Wolfish Bay, uh, for marine engineering. I spent a year there. Then in 2005, I decided to go to NEMT in Arandes, where I did uh, a course of uh, male right. That was now 2005 until 2008. To me, it was like, I think it's the uniqueness to it, because it's something which we did not hear much when we were younger. So we came to hear about it when we are, you know, we, we are grown. And uh, it catch me like, you know, I, I would like to do that. It sounds good. I think it's, I haven't seen it like from where I come from. I didn't hear of people doing that kind of job. So that's why I took it and then, you know, and I am here and I, I like it so far. I like what I'm doing. You can be anything you want to be. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. You can live your passion. Live your passion. Today, Job is employed at the Namibia Ports Authority at Valfus Bay. However, before joining Namport, he worked a short stint at Otis Elevators in Vintuk. From 2008, on my last year, I got a bursary from Namdeb. And then upon completion, I went to Orange Mund. And uh, at Orange Mund, it was the time of the recessions, you know, economic difficulties. They were busy retrenching, they could not employ us, so they let us free. So I moved from there, I came to Windhoek. Then I got a job in, I worked for Otis Elevator in, in Windhoek. That was 2009, until 2009, December. That's the time when I get a job uh, at Namport in Ludreds. So 2009, December, I went to Ludreds. Then I stayed in Ludreds for, I worked in Ludreds for, for a year, the whole of 2010. And then 2010, December, I moved to the port of Wolfish Bay. That's where I am up to now. As a millwright, Job is trained to erect, install, dismantle, repair, and reassemble machinery. This includes such tasks as installing machinery on foundations or base plates and aligning electric motors or other power sources such as turbines with equipment which mill rides typically connect with some type of coupling. Mill rides are also known as industrial mechanics or machinists. You know, the, the, the main duty is to, to, to maintain the equipment and uh, optimize the availability of the equipments for the, for the operation. On routine maintenances, we start, you start off with the monthly inspections. You know, you go around the machine, you know, just inspect, check any defect, and then 
record and then put in a notification to create a job cut for the job which need to be done. And then we got now yours. Services for the engines, you got services for the gearboxes. You can be anything you want to be. You can achieve it if you just believe. Millwrights must have a good understanding of fluid mechanics, hydraulics and pneumatics and all of the components involved in these processes such as valves, cylinders, pumps and compressors. They need to have a strong mathematical aptitude as they work with a wide array of precision tools based on quantifiable information. On the service, what you basically do, like you, you service your, your diesel line by, this is where your, 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 your diesel pipe coming from the tank, it goes through the, it's a filter and it's, it's also a water separator in case there is water in the diesel of any other contamination, then it will separate the water from the, from the diesel. So you replace this, and then so it goes, it, it have another filter of this size, the second filter, diesel filter, it goes in this housing. That's all you replace when you are doing service. And then you got your engine oil, you know, like you check, this is your dipstick, you know, like for operation, you always check there should be enough oil in the in the engine so you you firstly you, you drain the engine oil this is a draining pump drain the engine oil you know we put the handle here then you just like a it's a hand pump you do your drainage there then after all you replace this is your your oil filter in this housing you replace this oil filter the basics are the same like for the engine you know you got filters in the engine you got you know oil filters diesel filters you got, uh, you know, your air filters. It's only the maybe the the size because it's a bigger engine. It it got bigger, you know, parts. You can be anything you wanna be. You can achieve it if you just believe. Mill rides perform an important function in any industrial plant or setting because broken down machines can result in serious production losses. The main reason you have the equipment is for operation, production, you know, you have to maintain the machine, minimize breakdown as, 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 to, as minimal as possible. So you must do your routine maintenance and services for the machine. You must make sure the machine is available. You, you got a certain percentage for the availability of the machine. So you are being measured on that one. If the machines are serviced, serviced and they are working fine, then you, you got, you know, production-wise, you are doing, you know, the company is making revenue, you know, that's the main, the main reason behind it. You must maintain your machine for the production purposes. Job is a diligent and committed individual who excels in his work. His passion for what he does is clearly demonstrated by his intimate knowledge of the various aspects of his work and his appreciation for procedures and safety. He appreciates his value to his employer and the fact that he is a key and important member of the team. Your control for the engine is in this room and some for the, for, the, for, the, for the generator, like this is your main, your main breaker from the generators up to the e-house. This is your ABR card, this, is, this, one, this one is also for your, it's for your generator. And then the rest of the stuff is just for your, the control for your, for whenever, whenever you are having either the generator or the, the engine problem, that's where you find what the problem is. That's where you do your fault finding on this box. Normally for your, for your, for your electrical part, you, normally you just do inspections. And you know, inspection, whenever there's a problem, then you, you fix it and you attend to breakdowns. When the machine is in operation, something breaks, they call you in, you go check what the problem is. Is it electrical, is it mechanical? Then you take it from there. As a highly skilled artisan, Job is also passionate about vocational education and training and its potential for empowerment and self-actualization. As he is always eager to share his experience with technical inclined school learners in telling them that technical careers can indeed be fulfilling and rewarding and worth pursuing. You know, for the young generations, those of you who got like who like being in a technical field, uh, who would like to be, you know, fixing things, 
working with your hands. You can in like you can you can work as an electrician for that for that matter. You you can work as a as a fitter. You can work for the mine. The job is out there. I think the the market is quite good for the job. You can easily get a job. You can be anything you want. Despite not having a family yet, Job has taken in his nephew, whose grandmother passed away recently. He appreciates that he has to be a good example for the young man who is currently in grade 9. If he chooses to go on the technical field, uh, and if he really develop a passion for that, uh, I will be quite excited. You know, it's, I will be quite excited for him. I think because, you know, sometimes you, you've got people you look up to. If he choose to look up to me and decide he want to do like technical, he want to go into the technical field, uh, I will be there to support him. I will be, I will be quite okay with that. Mill rights are highly employable artisans. Many opt to enter the private sector to work on a contractual basis, especially in the mining and manufacturing sectors. Fields wherein mill rights may operate include low, medium, and high voltage electrical fault finding and installations programmable logic controller PLC installations and maintenance, fitting installation and maintenance of most mechanical, hydraulic and pneumatic systems as well as steelworks. Job is mum about his future plans. For now, he is enjoying his work at Namport in Walthus Bay, where he established himself as a key team member and a firm okay. favourite amongst colleagues. Job quite a simple guy. I'm um, an easygoing person. Uh, uh, I cannot say... I like, I like people. Uh, I laugh a lot, even though I can't smile. Away from work, Job enjoys spending time with his friends. He is not married yet, but that is soon to change. We are in Wolfish Bay uh, at Independence Beach. We we just hanging out with friends. You know, I'm with my friends and a few of colleagues. We just at the sea having fun and enjoying ourselves. I play volleyball. I'm a member of a Namport volleyball team. So that, that, those, those are the things we do. Yeah, that's how we relax. I know Job for about four years now. The, it, the way I know him is a very nice person, and he's also very. Energetic and is a determined uh, person. He's, he's fun to hang with during leisure time, and I know at his work is very uh, uh, determined to do his work, and is uh, one of those uh, aspiring people that will take this country forward. Also, I do share some of some of my goals with him. You know, we, you know, we we. It's, it's kind of the way we challenge ourselves in one way or the other, like in a good way, you know. I think you'll you'll be a responsible parent. That's why uh, that's number one. And I'm sure I, right now he's preparing a, a future for his uh, family. <laughs> I see him as a very he will be very successful in life, and uh, he, he will take care of his that guy that you say will take care good care of his family. Job Shatona, a confident driven and committed artisan, but also a humble, modest and caring man. His story teaches us that the price of success is hard work, dedication to the job at hand, and that the determination that whether we win or lose, we have applied the best of ourselves to the task at hand. That we always need to have faith in ourselves and our unique abilities and talents. That success isn't always about greatness, it's about consistency. That it is consistent hard work that leads to success. Job is a trailblazer for technical and vocational training. He is living his passion. This insert is brought to you by the Namibia Training Authority. Visit our website www.nta.com.na to learn about other technical and vocational career options.